Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. Hope you guys are having a great day. So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at our Burst Coin plot optimization series. So last week, I actually done a video comparing regular plots versus optimized plots for Burst Coin. Um, however, one of the problems with that particular video was I compared a five terabyte plot on a Toshiba external hard drive versus a optimized plot on a Seagate expansion, um, also five terabyte USB free external. So the problem was it wasn't a like for like uh, comparison. We compared a regular plot versus an optimized plot, but there was also an inconsistency of uh, two different drives as well. So it wasn't ideal. Um, the problem was that I just didn't really have the time um, to kind of um, sort out those inconsistencies because it is a five terabyte file and to copy that file across um, basically takes the best part of um, 24 hours. Um, so since that video, I've uh, redone and um, sorted that issue out. So what we can do now is I can um, share with you a, and test a five terabyte optimized plot on the Toshiba drive um, compared against uh, the optimized plot on the Seagate drive and also the regular plot on the original Toshiba drive as well. So we can compare all the data and we should, be, I can basically uh, present that to you guys. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video, just to kind of wrap up that whole um, situation. So we're on Worker Free. Um, I'm actually doing it via the Mac today, just for um, simplicity. Um, you can see in the background, we've already got the JMiner uh, application running at the top there. That's uh, mining as it normally is. Uh, but we're just gonna close that uh, and we can reopen it for testing. Uh, we've got the Claymore's uh, ETH miner as well. You might notice it's running a little bit slower. Um, that's because one of my um, R7, sorry, RX 470s um, had to go back. Um, it was defective, um, so one of the 7950s is back in there. All sorts of issues uh, this week, uh, a lot going on. Um, and I'll be talking about that in some upcoming videos. So it's been a bit of a hectic week, things not really going according to plan and all that kind of business. Um, but anyway, let's uh, move on. So I'm just going to start copying this first. I'm going to paste that to the desktop in another place uh, and I'll just use this one for our edited files. So if I open up the uh, computer folders and if we go to Toshiba 10 which is the actual drive that I used in the original uh, video series, I'll link the video in the description if you're interested in checking that out. Um, and then we've got a plots uh, optimized folder and inside we've got our 5 terabyte optimized uh, plot in there. So this is the one that we're going to be used for testing and that's now on the Toshiba drive. Previously on the Toshiba 10 drive we only had a regular plot um, so I can we can use that and um, I can show you exactly how it performs. Um, I'm just going to edit the jminer config file now because we just want it working on that one drive. I always lose where the actual files are in this. Oh, there it is. It's always at the top. Um, and it was uh, Toshiba 10, which is L. So we're just going to be testing this single drive on its own. I'm going to remove all the other stuff. So it's L plots optimized, just a one drive. I'm just going to save that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up the uh, JMiner like I normally do. It's going to mine on the single drive. We're going to let it run through five times, and then we're going to uh, record the actual the read time and also the uh, average megabytes per second. It's actually reading the actual disk through. Um, I'll write all that data down, and at the end I'll present like a slide and I'll show you that how that data is in comparison to um, the previous test that we've done. So we'll start that up now. Okay, so we've got our first read in at 10 seconds. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna let it run through just a short while and um, I'll present all that information to you at the end. Okay, so JMiner has completed uh, five blocks. We got really lucky and there was five short blocks. Um, so they will process really quite quickly. Last time I had to wait um, well over an hour to actually get all the actual data. Um, so five blocks is uh, completed. You can see the last block there, we've got seven seconds as a scan time. 
So looking through just on the actual data, and I'll show you the slide in just a second, but the optimized uh, plot on the Sysheba drive is uh, really fast, much faster than both the other um, instances. So let's take a look at the slide and we can compare them. Here's the slide with all of the data from all of the testing that I've done across all three uh, drives and versions of the actual uh, plots. So at the very top, we've got the original Toshiba uh, five terabyte USB free external, and that had the regular plot on that drive there. So that was getting an average uh, read speed of uh, 66.2 megabytes per second. And on average over those five blocks of testing, the total uh, read time was 21.6 seconds. So that's kind of our base um, or base mark figure, the starting point that we actually work from. From there, we tested the optimized plot on the Seagate expansion drive. Um, and that coming at an average read speed of 85 megabytes per second and average read times of 15.8 uh, seconds. Um, so that's quite an improvement over the Toshiba drive in that original test. So I was quite happy with that optimized plot performance. Um, it took a while to do, but the actual optimized plot definitely had an effect. Uh, going from there, what we've actually redone is we've tested our optimized plot back again on that original Toshiba drive. And the, uh, the actual performance results are really quite stunning. Um, they're much faster than I expected and really quite um, surprised me. So there's two things that we can see from this. Is one is the optimized plot on the original Toshiba drive is much, much faster. Um, so in comparison to the first drive, uh, we're getting 119 megabytes per second uh, average read speed versus 66 for the original plot. The other thing is that we're also getting is the actual read time is 11.8 seconds versus 21.6 seconds. So for a ballpark figure, the optimized plot on a like for like uh, comparison is basically it's going to save you half the time or read um, just about twice as fast. That's probably the easiest way to explain it. Optimized plots are twice as fast as regular plots. So if you are doing any burst coin mining, you definitely want to be optimizing your plot. It takes a little while longer to do it, um, but you're definitely going to get uh, performance improvements from it. So that's a really strong uh, characteristic. It's kind of a black and white um, there in the actual data. So this is worth doing this test. The other thing that we can sort of see as well is the actual um, the Seagate five terabyte drive is also much um, slower. It's probably about a quarter slower or 25% slower than the Toshiba drive. Um, I'm not too sure what the exact reason for this is. Um, I've recently been reading and someone said that the Seagate drives use a different way of recording the data, um, something called SMR. I've not really looked too much into it, but it's a different way of recording uh, data onto the on the individual tracks um, of the platters of the actual hard drives. So I think that's got something to do with the actual uh, performance characteristics of the drives. So that's one thing to consider as well. Yeah, these Seagate uh, expansion drives, and I don't know whether it carries on for the whole series, but these particular ones that I'm using, they are slower in comparison to those uh, Toshiba drives. Um, so that's something that's worth considering um, as well, particularly if you're a burst coin miner like me. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to sort of um, touch uh, base with you and share the actual, the rest of the actual data, everything that I have, so I can share that with you and you can use this information accordingly in your own mining efforts. And uh, hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching. If you like this style of video and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe because I upload videos like this on a regular basis. And I'd love to have you as part of our little community that we're growing here. So that's it for this one. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next video.